so hello guys welcome to the iit and gate classes uh, in this session we are coming with uh, one more job notifications that is regarding the ada aeronautical development of agency right, which is coming under ministry of defense and most of you might be knowing this is a autonomous organization under the department of defense research and development organization right drdo and basically they are uh, dealing with the design and development of uh, both air force and naval versions of light combat aircraft basically they are dealing with the aircrafts right like tejas right and some other uh, advanced medium combat aircrafts right so basically they are looking for project engineer for the tenure of 5 years right now coming to here we will see the detailing of this uh, notifications we will discuss the vacancy detail then eligibility then we will discuss the what are all the list of equivalent disciplines age limit weightage screening or shortlisting process then we will discuss the selection process then important dates and application fees right so first we will discuss the vacancy detail the number of vacancies and the related experience that is required here now project engineer one for this post you require minimum 2 years of experience right and for this you will be paid 50000 plus some dns allowances right whatever the d uh, a will be given uh, according to central government that will be applicable here right as if you go through the detailing notifications they have mentioned that what percentage of basic pay they are giving as a d a right then uh, the number of vacancy is 40 here the project engineer to uh, you require the experience of 4 years and you will be paid the 60000 plus dns allowances and for this total vacancy is 9 again project engineer 3 you will be paid 70000 but you need to require to have experience of 8 years and for this the number of vacancies are two so total we have 40 uh, 53 vacancies that is we filled for tenure of 5 years right now for a project engineer one for which we require 2 years of experience like what are all the uh, experiences or in which field we need to require the experience right first of all uh, so serial number one so this this will be the very lengthy that we need to have discussion here uh, so for the project engineer one in that there are total 40 vacancies are there that 40 vacancy has been split into many uh, you know uh, sub areas of domain where uh, you need to require the experience of respective domains right So first serial number one uh, I am discussing here that is uh, at least you should have a bachelor degree in mechanical or production or equivalent. Now what is the equivalent we will discuss for this serial number one, right? And you will need to have a minimum two years of experience, right? And for this number of vacancies are what one, OBC one, and the total number of vacancies are two. Now you should have a minimum two years of experience in one or more of the following areas, right? That is preparation of the aircraft. The structure of layouts, then CAD modeling and drawing preparation using CAD and Unit Graphics, right? Then they have mentioned if you have the desirable qualification in the respective domains of uh, you know, GDNT and JIT inspection, then you will be uh, shortlisted for the further rounds. If you have master degree, then this two years experience will be given as the weightage to your master degree. That means MBA or MTech. If you have done MBA or MTech, I will mention separately also. this point this point is very important those who are thinking that they don't have any experience but they have done the mtech so for those candidates also this is a very good opportunity because if you have the ma or mtech even though they mentioned desirable but they have clearly mentioned in one of their selection process that if you have ma or mtech degree then you don't need any experience that two years of experience will be allotted to this ma or mtech degree then uh, as you can see the detailing notification uh, pdf will be sent below this video so you can go through that like the second serial post again mechanical production two years experience ma and tech then you need to have the experience in manufacturing process of structural layout assembly procedure of jigs and fixture and then tools and all regarding this the total number of vacancies are one likewise you can go through here not only we have mechanical we have for mechanical as well as uh, production we have for ec also for aeronautical or aerospace engineering also we have right they they mentioned that minimum 2 years of experience required in the following domain like experimental aerodynamics computational aerodynamics aircraft performance flight mechanics right 
and here i would like to highlight once again that those who are mechanical uh, they have the some high number of vacancies as most more of out of 40 vacancies are allotted to mechanical domain right then you should have experience in respective areas like uh, dynamic analysis vibration measuring uh, measurement testing right similarly for ec candidate you should have experience in pcb design cc plus embedded system then uh, soc based embedded system design and rtl programming right so these are the thing. either you require experience in one of the fields or all if you have all experience then you have you will be having added advantage right not only we have for ec we have for csc also right so till now what are all the branches we have seen mechanical production aeronautical aero ec then we have seen the vacancy for csc also for csc you can go through the relative experience then mechanical again then again mechanical again we have mechanical mechanical right so again we have the easy instrumentation uh, electrical triple e also right then for mechanical again uh, these are the complete list they have right you go through that for all the branches at least something is there and if you have done a master degree then you will be having uh, no need to have two years of experience right project engineer too where you require the four years of experience but if you done phd if you did phd then this four year experience will be counted as your phd degree if you have done be btech or mem tech and then phd then you no need to have four years of separate experience but whatever the phd work you might have done whatever the thesis or uh, project you have done in phd or in tech this would be related to this one of the fields which you have mentioned but if you are from ec background or instrumentation or electrical background you are PhD thesis should contain any of these following uh, areas of research. Then only they will consider; otherwise, they will reject it. Right. So again, uh, here for EC, again EC we have. So there is no post. I think for mechanical here yeah. mm -hmm. for four years of experience, which they have mentioned. Yeah, here we have only one post for mechanical. Again, okay. project engineer three, you will be required to have eight years of experience, right? So, if anyone did a PhD plus four years of experience, then they can opt this for, for this project engineer three. Or anyone did MTech, then they have six years of experience apart from MTech, then they can, they can opt for this particular vacancies, right? Now, this is what I was talking about. Let's stop equivalent acceptable discipline. Let's say the main branch is mechanical or productions. They have mentioned there, right? But equivalent is what production and automation also applicable. Production, mechanical, mechatronics, production, they are also applicable, right? Mechanical production again. These are the for serial number two. You remember I mentioned post number one. In that post number one, uh, whatever the vacancies are given, like one or two, these respective branches are applicable. For post number two, under project engineer one, out of the forty vacancies for the serial number two, these are the branches are applicable. Similarly, we have again long list. Let's say for aeronautical, so aerospace, aerospace, avionics, they are applicable. Similarly, for you can go through the EC also, triple E, uh, instrumentations, all these branches are applicable. CSC, you can go through this one. Right. For mechanical, again, you can go through this. These are the number of uh, whatever the serial number of posts. And the project engineer one, do not confuse, they are saying no. Some changes are there, right? Yeah. List of acceptable equivalent disciplines is available at ADA websites uh, or RSE websites. You can go through that. Now, coming back to your age limit. So, age limit uh, is maximum of 35 for a project engineer one, and then you will be required. Uh, the back and this this age is there uh, that is on the closing date that means uh, you need to have what is the closing date i didn't mention but i will mention that closing date is 8th september by this particular time you should have an age of 35 years or below than that then only you are applicable for project engineer 
45 and for project engineer 3 you require uh, to have age of 40, 55 again for categories we have uh, respective you know, reservations for obc 3 and for stc 5 years of uh, reservations for pwd they have given 10 years of relaxation like for project engineer 1 the maximum age is 45 for project engineer 2 55 for project engineer 3 65 for undeserved categories this is regarding the age limit the weightage uh, for the higher qualification will be given based on the following conditions like uh, i mentioned right post graduate qualification they will be given two years of weightage doctorate degree that means phd they will be given the weightage of four years right and maximum weightage you will be given three years only for those candidates they are uh, for those those who are having the work experience as research fellow or research associate in any of the industry they will be directly given the weightage of three years right now screening again they will uh, shortlist based on the many criteria like if anyone have higher qualifications then uh, higher experience right if they have more uh, if they have the desirable qualification also right? then they will be given the weightage of those candidates right now, the candidates will be initially shortlisted based on the number of uh, applicants if the applicants are larger in number then the further screening will be done by Preliminary. This is the first step. Preliminary online interview. That is for short duration interview for 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, this this should be filled with those who have completed the M M tech right? Those who have done the master definitely they should fill it because initially they will be shortlisted. Then they will be called for preliminary online interview. That is for online, right? No, you no need to go anywhere. So it's a kind of very good opportunity, right? And it's of short duration of 10 to 15 minutes. And for one post, the number of candidates, they will be called up to 24 uh, candidates. Let's say we have the 40 candidates overall under project engineer one. So totally, uh, like, like they have mentioned, for one post, 24. And in that project, 40 we have seen, right, serial number one, let's say one vacancy. One vacancy, they will call 24 candidates. Again, for serial number two, let's say they have two vacancies. They will call, they will call for 48 vacancies, right? So like this, uh, they will be calling not like 40 to 12 they will do no they will be calling for respective serial numbers by post right and let's say for four to six posts they will be calling 72 candidates this is the first stage online interview then by different what will be happening after performance in the preliminary online interview the candidates will be first the further shortlist of final personal interview right again for one care post the candidates will be reduced from 24 to 12 for two to three it will be further reduced from 24 c it was 48 but now it is 24 then 36 again after completion of uh, what we call uh, the primarily uh, whatever the online interview they will be calling for final interview that is the second round of interview right here final person interview this final person interview will not be online they will be uh, basically calling or uh, they will be telling you the venue and date and accordingly you have to process now what is the selection process the selection process will be two stage interview stage interview. in that two stage interview the final weightage will be given to what the final interview not to the preliminary online interview and in that you have to score minimum you have to score minimum of 70 marks for unreserved and yeah and for other uh, ews and stc obc they need to score 60 percentage and the final personal interview max will be consideration for final selections so here there are some conditions like ADA will be engaged the project engineer on the limited tenure basis that is for five years this is a very important point so those who are looking for the permanent uh, that is not the um, right course but if you are looking for the current opportunity and uh, definitely after having the experience of in ADA then definitely you can switch to any company then they will be given they will be giving you the preferences right now if the candidates wishing to apply you know for more than one post, for example, they need to submit online form separately for each post with the required documents. Right now, important dates: the candidates can register uh, their application on online uh, on RSC website or ADA websites. Both the websites are uh, operated here for this particular vacancies, and the online application already started on 11th August. 
started and closing on 8th September right and this should be submitted online only and there is a notification fee right so this is the correspondingly vacancies detail we have seen regarding the ADO for project engineer right so for any more detail uh, detailing if you want to go through then you can call us and you can visit our website and you can subscribe to our following, uh, following channels right thank you all